Learn how to make the classic tastiest Nigerian buns recipe, a very popular snack in Nigeria. In fact, this is a street food recipe, which is also one of my favorites. Hello everyone and welcome back to Queen Varieties channel. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload new videos. Feel free to share this video with your friends, loved ones and family members. In a very large bowl, combine 4 cups of all-purpose flour with half cup of white sugar. Next, add half teaspoon of salt and half teaspoon of cinnamon which you can substitute with nutmeg or leave it out entirely if you prefer. Go ahead and introduce 2 and half teaspoon of baking powder and then combine all dry ingredients to mix properly making sure all ingredients are evenly distributed. Once that is done, create a hole in the middle of the bowl and pour in 4 room temperature eggs which you have waxed. You can also use 3 eggs if the sizes of your eggs are big in nature. Next, add 4 tablespoons melted butter and orange zest which you can definitely substitute with vanilla essence or any other flavor of your choice. With the help of your spatula or hands, mix everything and begin to add a cup of low fat milk to the mixture step by step until the perfect consistency is achieved. So as you can see, the perfect consistency required for this recipe is just a very sticky dough. We don't need a hard dough or a watery dough. All we need is just something that is very sticky in nature. As you can see, the consistency as shown in the video guys. Note that you can also substitute the milk with water but milk gives this recipe that full buns tasty boost and effect that every buns you eat on the street side you know has. You can also store any leftover milk from the cup of the milk or drink it. Once everything is ready, preheat oil on low to medium heat just like the same settings for frying your akara recipe or your puff puff recipe or any other related recipe. Now begin to drop the dough with your hands into the hot heated oil. The trick is to form your fingers together in a circular motion and then Push it down with your thumb into the oil as you can see or you can use the ice cream scooper if you have it available and then scoop the dough gradually into the oil step by step. From time to time as your hand feels sticky while dropping the dough inside the oil, what you will do is to touch your fingers into a plate of cold water and then continue the process once again. As it fries, turn it from one side to the other and then don't worry if the dough develops any kind of cracks. That is perfect for a Nigerian buns recipe. The dough will fry between 8 to 15 good minutes and yes, it takes so long to fry the buns unlike the puff puff recipe. However, the size of your dough depends on how long it takes to fry your buns. So fry between 15 to 20 minutes if the sizes of your buns is quite larger than my own. But make sure guys, you keep your eye on it.
Guys, these buns are absolutely beautiful and crispy on the outside and super moist on the inside. As you can see, these buns look exactly like the basic Nigerian buns recipe and not looking like puff puff um, recipe. There is a very big difference between the puff puff and the Nigerian buns. Why the Nigerian buns seem dense in consistency, the puff puff is a little bit softer in nature. And guys, this is so so delicious once the buns is golden brown in color or brown as you prefer it guys set it out of the oil on a kitchen towel or kitchen paper to drain excess oil out of it enjoy it warm with your favorite drink guys <laughs> Here guys, I tried to scoop the dough with my measuring spoon and this is the result of the shapes I got from the recipe. <laughs> it looks shapeless. That is why I recommend that um, you use your ice cream scooper to get that beautiful round shapes or you use your hands. But if you want to use any of the measuring spoons, then you can also try it and see if you will get a better shape than what I got here. I'm just trying to show you that you can try your best and shape it as much as um, you can. Thank you so much for joining me in today's episode. I really hope you have enjoyed today's recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever i upload new videos feel free to share this video with your friends loved ones and family members